artfully adorned Aphrodite, deathless child of Zeus and weaver of wiles, hitching up your chariot. Lovely sparrows drew you quickly over the dark earth, whirling on fine beating wings from the heights of heaven down to the sky and instantly arrived. Aphrodite was not only beautiful beyond words, but in addition, she possessed all the charms and graces associated with womanhood. Aphrodite is said to have sprung from the foam of the sea and was wafted first toward the island of Scythera and later to Cyprus, where she stepped out upon the shore in radiant light. Here the seasons welcomed her and clothing her in jewels, took her to the shining palace upon Mount Olympus and there introduced her to the divinities of heaven. Lo, this is she that was the world's delight. To the Greeks and Romans, Aphrodite symbolized love between men and women, and in the world of animals and nature, the force that reproduces life. Her worship, therefore, was universal, and her altars heaped with roses were to be found everywhere. Aphrodite is connected with many love stories. She was kind-hearted and seldom failed to respond to a call for help when it came to her from a despairing lover. While Aphrodite had many lovers, none were more dear to her than a handsome young shepherd named Adonis. He came into combat with a wild boar. As Adonis lay dying on the ground, Aphrodite ran to help her expiring lover. In her haste, she pricked herself on some white roses which chanced to be in her way. Whereupon these flowers turned red, blushing with shame because they had been the cause of such an accident to the lovely goddess. The death of Adonis brought such grief to Aphrodite that she would not allow the body to be taken from her arms until the gods promised that he might continue to live with her during the spring and summer and that she might spend the other half of the year with him in the lower world. Spring was personified by this beautiful youth whose life was short and at whose departure all nature put on mourning and ceased to bear fruit, only to rejoice again when he returned to earth.